Well, I'm Pat Strine, Strine Printing Company, based in York, Pennsylvania. We've been in business since 1947. Uh, third generation printing company. Uh, we are a commercial printer that does a lot of POP, POS, packaging, and some commercial print. And within the last eight years, we got into the digital world with Indigos and um, uh, HP equipment to do the shorter run digital work. Pat, why did you purchase the Colex SharpCut? Yes, in the beginning, we, we are into the digital world now with a large format inkjet machines, and we needed a way to, to route those pieces without going to make dies that are very expensive for the shorter run. We looked at a number of different uh, manufacturers, and we felt for the price uh, to get into doing routing and, and cutting, uh, Colex fit the best. What were the important issues Strine considered before purchasing the Colex Sharp Cut? Uh, the, the actual the price for the, the product and the size which made us go with the Colex. There were some other, uh, other competitors that were a bit more expensive. Uh, it got us into the game to figure out you know, where we go from here. Will the Colex Sharp Cut be instrumental in increasing your client base? We've, we've had the Colex in now for about two weeks. I think it will be. Uh, right now, we will only run about three or four live jobs, but I think it'll. Uh, we've been sending that work out up to this point to be done. We'll bring it in-house, which will save on time, and I think we'll increase uh, um, production by having it in-house. How difficult was it for your staff to learn the Colex SharpCut system? Yes, we, we weren't exactly green when it came into cutting. We have a few people in our CAD department that worked on competitors' equipment, so it was easily picked up. And, uh, but also, we had advanced training before the equipment got in at Colex, uh, so we, we didn't really have any bit of a blimp there. We're, uh, we're fully up operational at this point. How quickly do you expect the Colex sharp cut to pay for itself? Well, we're not exactly sure of that right now as far as how the payback on it. I do feel within probably uh, 12 to 18 months we should have a, a payback on it based on the volume that we're doing now, although we hope to increase that volume and possibly get within six months. Hopefully, we'll probably end up with another one. Does the Colex Sharp Cut keep up with your volume of work? At this point, I think at this point it has. Uh, the, some of the competitors actually are a little faster, but like I said, for the price to, to what we needed to do at this point, We'll, we'll be able to keep up. Some of the longer runs, once you get into a couple hundred sheets, large sheets, we probably would need a second machine. Pat, would you recommend the Colex Sharp Cut to others? Yes, I would recommend Colex. Uh, like I said, the price ratio to, to, the, uh, to what you're, you're getting, I think, is a, is a good price point, and compared to some of the competitors, I think it gets people into the game a lot easier. Well, my name is Randall Jones, and I'm in charge of pre-press at Strine Printing in York, Pennsylvania. I think we're one of the largest large format printers on the East Coast. Our primary function here is packaging specialist and POP work. Randall, why did Strine purchase the Colex SharpCut? The SharpCut was bought primarily to support our new digital division. We've put in digital presses, large format, which required die cutting, uh, routering, and special effects, and we wanted to have that machine to help support the digital side of this company. What were the important issues you considered before purchasing the Colex SharpCut? I think primarily the, the, our interest in buying this machine was so that we could test the waters with these devices. There's several different machines out there. Colex came to us and had the best offer that seemed reasonable for us at the time to start into this process rather than to venture too much capital at one time. Was the Colex SharpCut instrumental in increasing your client base? The Colex will probably enhance our client space and help support our existing client space for their needs for short run work at our shop because we have primarily large format die cutting pieces of equipment but when there's something print on demand or something has to be done on demand that really gives us that capability to support that. How easy or difficult was it for your staff to learn the Colex sharp cut system? Yeah, the Colex staff and the training and, and, and the setup of the equipment, I think, really went well. We're, we have in people who already have a background with this, so it really helped us hit the ground running. And it was really a painless operation. How quickly do you expect that the Colex sharp cut will pay for itself? And again, we the purchase of the equipment, we didn't really buy it to pay for itself. We bought it to enhance it. We didn't buy it as a manufacturing tool. We bought it as a support function. 
and, I, and I'm sure the return on investment for support has probably already happened. Randall, would you recommend the Colex Sharp Cut to others? Yes, at this point I would recommend it. I believe it would work great. It's a good tool, it's easy to learn, it's user-friendly, and I think it's more than adequate for what you need.